And we're back. Welcome to the Fly Zone. I'm Fly Navarro. This is Captain Ray Rocher with R and R Tackle. We got Steven getting ready to throw our pen in the water. Thank you for not splashing me. And we're gonna start showing you guys how to transport bait from your live well mm -hmm. into your pen, correct? Yep. Yep. And the whole purpose about putting them in the pen is why? Trying to keep bait for future trips. You know, okay. one of the biggest challenges, like, you know, we go fishing today and the water's maybe flat calm or green or no current or all these different reasons why bait's tough. Having your bait already seasoned and in the pen eating, you can, you know, get out there three hours before dark and go fishing. You don't even have to mess with bait. Perfect. And I think the baits are more durable. Things like hooking a bait and using it, a fresh bait, 99% of the time will die if you Take a bait we caught today, hook them on, uh, put it out there, fish it, bring it in, grab it again, take the hook out, and then put it in the pen, dead, right? But I've seen many times seasoned baits heal up, two black dots on their back. So it shows there is physiological, that's my big word for the day, but physiological I'm writing that down. Okay, now spell it. That's your quote. Okay. Show so us how to move bait. We're going to use the wet net. All right. We're going to see how the advantage of trying to take multiple fish at one time. So and they were those baits runners are a little wigged out generally they're going to splash but they're splashing and separated from they're, each other they're not so banging, they're not up banging. Against each other. a dry net that one maybe a little bit of a power scoop that was a, <laughs> that was a power scoop, scoop. <laughs> oh free willy oh yes. yes he got loose <laughs> yeah okay let me try that again we're going to do last that time the the, the one Thing that does happen on these nets uh -huh. is they actually swim in. Okay. There you go. Nice and calm. See, that's the way it's supposed to look. When you put too many, they still freak out. I'm going to take that you... alley fishing. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that that's is it. exactly how you scoop bait with the new uh, wet net as opposed to one by one with yeah. the old fashioned butterfly. It's nets. not mandatory to have the wet net. Okay. But it does allow you to, especially dealing with sardines, threads, large quantities of bait, and if you're going to try to get them to live long term. You know, if I'm going to use these baits tomorrow, I can use a traditional net and just, you know, fewer, one or two at a time and go with it. But it'll pay off. Perfect. All right. Thanks for joining us here in the Fly Zone. <laughs>